In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your worlds between Bedrock Edition and Java Edition and vice versa. So this is a Bedrock world. But if I go ahead and open up Java, you can see that I have the exact same world over here in Java as well. Now this converter works both ways, meaning you can convert worlds between Bedrock and Java, or you can convert worlds between Java and Bedrock. This world converter is possibly the best I have ever seen, with it even being able to convert items in chests, as you can see right here, along with things like entities, including if they have a name tag, and in the case of these dogs, also their dyed collars. I have literally changed nothing about this world, other than adding in some torches in here so it wasn't incredibly dark. It converts all sorts of the MBT data, including signs, and just honestly, all sorts. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So the first step to the tutorial is to actually download the software itself. Now, believe it or not, you actually need to open up the Microsoft Store to download this app because who would have thought it, but something actually good is on the Microsoft Store other than Minecraft. Then you're going to want to search here at the top and type in JE2BE, just like this and it should come up with this app right here. So for you guys, it will say an install button. So if you just press install to install the app and it will eventually download and install. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, if you then go ahead and open it, it will open or it should open on a screen like this, where you can choose for Java to Bedrock, Bedrock to Java, Xbox 360 to Bedrock or Xbox 360 to Java. Now I don't have any Xbox 360 worlds to test, so I have no, no idea about these bottom options, but of course this video is about the top two anyway. So in this example, I'll do Java to Bedrock, but the process is essentially the same. So if you go ahead and click Java to Bedrock. So for you, it will most likely show all of the worlds it finds in your saves folder. Because I have my installations on a custom directory, it can't actually find my save folder. So I'm going to have to click select from other directories, and I'm just going to navigate to a world on Java edition. So I'm going to use my hardcore series. So there we go, select folder. And there we go, it has detected the world. So we should now just be able to press start. And once you press start, it's gonna run a whole load of conversions. Now this is a reasonably small world, so it's not gonna take that long to convert at all. And once it's finished converting, you can either save it into your Minecraft Bedrock save folder, into a custom folder, or export as an MC world file, which is like a file you can just send to your friends or whatever. I personally am going to save it into my Minecraft Bedrock save folder, which is essentially the Minecraft Bedrock world folder. And there we go, it's gone ahead and saved the world. So let's open up Bedrock Edition and see the converted world. So here we are in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and you can see here we have Aliens Hardcore series that's originally the world I converted. So let's go ahead and open this. And as you can see, I'm actually in spectator mode. This is because this is a hardcore world that I unfortunately died in. So you can even see there it copies over world settings and even player settings and that sort of thing. So I'm going to need to go ahead and turn on cheats. There we go. So activate cheats and then I should be able to go back into creative. And there we go. I'm now in creative world and there isn't a whole ton of stuff in this world, admittedly. But you can see here I've got things like my donkey and these were mini blocks or custom heads in the Java world. But unfortunately, it's not able to convert things like that. So we just get these regular player skulls instead. These are from vanilla tweaks on the Java world. But you can see here it's converted things like, well, the creeper hole and all the stuff that I lost when I died. And even the XP orbs are still there, which is pretty impressive. And if we come over here to the village, you'll even find all of the loot that was in these chests and stuff. Admittedly, it's not particularly good loot, but it's still converted nonetheless. <laughs> and converting a bedrock world to Java is essentially the same process. So I'm just going to select my planning world for Pinecraft, because why not? The main difference on Bedrock Edition is that you get to select which account uh, you want to transfer to the uh, main account on Java. Unfortunately, it doesn't do like different multiplayer accounts or anything. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and let this thing convert the Bedrock world. And there we go. As you can see, it's finished converting my Bedrock world to Java. So if I didn't have the custom directory set up, I'd be able to save it directly in the save folder. But I'm going to go ahead and just save it into a custom folder. One thing to make sure when you're saving it in a custom folder 
is that you don't save it like directly into your saves folder. You actually create a new folder first because otherwise it's just going to dump all the world files into the folder without it being inside a folder, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder here and then put it in. And as you can see, it's now converted all of these world files to Java Edition from Bedrock. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If you'd like to see more Minecraft Bedrock tutorials like this or Minecraft Bedrock Edition content, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate you leaving a like. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video coming very, very soon. Bye-bye.